Today I'm going to do a little bit of a indulgent test. I've been wanting to do this anyways, so I figured I would record it and you guys can help me get even closer to the results I'm going to hopefully find today. Basically what I want to do is compare the Universal Audio Aux to as many equivalent factors as possible uh, on a real mic'd cab. So today we have the UA Aux with a blue speaker, a blue speaker, it's digital or recreated, um, an impulse response. We have an open back cab in the Aux. We have carpet on the floor, room type settings, uh, 57 off axis mic. And are there any other similarities? I think those are the main ones. It's all close mic'd. Um, and then in reality today, we have my Vox AC30 with an Alnico Blue, a 57 mic that's off access in a carpeted room with as few reflections as possible. And I basically just wanna record them both at the same time and see what the results are. I am not expecting these to be exact, although I would be pleasantly surprised if they sounded really, really close. Uh, but let's basically just get into it and see what the sounds are, what the sound differences are. You guys can poke holes in my, my test today. I am by no means an audio engineer or amazing at EQ and studio compression and all that. That is over my pay grade, above my skill set. I like to play guitar and build pedal boards. I represent probably the average guitar player out there and my skill set today will get us as close as we can and you guys can help me get even closer. So let's get into the video audio examples. I'm gonna be playing this beautiful 335 today um, into a Vox handwired AC30. The UA aux is obviously in the signal path as well, so we can record both lines at the same time and get as close as we possibly can. Let's do it. the guitar in some clean, almost rhythmic picking type uh, approaches. You heard it with a little bit of overdrive, both in more rhythmic and then a high picking part. I'm very curious what you guys heard. I will try and use some buzzwords here and <laughs> explain what I heard. I did do some very basic EQ on the mic, uh, the, the amp, the real amp, uh, versus the aux I didn't really touch at all because that would have been more treated already within the IR. Um, so basically what I heard, I really liked the amp when it was clean. The clean picking at the beginning, I thought the amp sounded a bit more full, had a little bit more low mids in it, sounded a bit more rounded out, whereas the aux felt a little bit thin to me, which might work in a full mix, but when we're just listening to basically the guitar, I thought the aux sounded a little bit thinner. But then when I turned on the overdrive, which was a TS-808, basically a Tube Screamer, it started sounding a little bit uh, borderline distortion type fuzz when I was on the amp. And now that slightly thinner sound with the aux, in my opinion, sounded a lot better with the overdrive, especially in those rhythmic type chord things I was doing. Then towards the end, I went up high to a bit of a higher picking part. And then the amp for me sounded better again on the overdrive. It was kind of going back and forth for me. I'm not sure which one overall I would actually pick in this very quick test that we've done. Again, this test is not conclusive. I'm brand new to the aux. This AC30 for me, 
I've had for 10 years. So I love the AC30, but I've never run it through the aux. So this is all brand new to me. Uh, I'm sure there are some things I can improve on and would love to hear about that in the comments. I think the aux did a lot of favors for me today, but there were still sections I really just liked. The actual speaker, mic'd up with a 57, having that more full, rounded sound coming through. Again, put your comments below. That's it. Just wanted to do a quick video and get your guys' thoughts. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.